Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is time now for our full circle where we like to spend a little time discussing a subject that is important to us and hopefully very meaningful to you. Well, on Tuesday, the Trump administration moved to roll back 25 Obama-era memos that encouraged elementary schools, secondary schools, and colleges to consider race in an effort to diversify their student bodies. This, along with Supreme Justice Kennedy's retirement announcement, has caused great concern for affirmative action advocates. Justice Kennedy cast a decisive vote in 2016 to allow universities to continue using race as a factor in admissions. If the issue comes before the Supreme Court again, with Trump's newly appointed justice serving, many are worried that affirmative action will be undone. Mm, so yeah. we wanted to talk about diversity versus discrimination. And some argue that affirmative action uh, unfairly discriminates against certain groups. Others believe it is necessary to, ma to maintain diversity and equality. So we wanted to bring it to the table today to talk, you know, talk a little bit about yeah. the difference between diversity and discrimination. Well, the first thing I'm trying to figure out, and in, in all of my research on what is going on, or just listening to back and or reading back and forth what people are saying mm -hmm. and getting the different opinions, is how. First of all, Tr President Trump seems to be obsessed with rolling back mm -hmm. uh, all of the policies that, that Obama set in place. Mm -hmm. That's first of all. And then for the people that said that Obama didn't do nothing for us, uh, try this one. Right, okay, right. Here, here's one. Take that one. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm more concerned about. How is this dude even, he shouldn't even be talking about colleges, universities, or anything, considering the fact that he just paid a $25 million class action lawsuit out for a fake university. Mm -hmm. the Trump University, that is. The, the, the Trump, Trump University. university. Uh, so how are you even able to even speak on anything that's dealing with education when clearly your college was fraudulent? Mm -hmm. That's first of all. And the fact that you're rolling back things uh, that are basically uh, helping women, mm -hmm. minorities, mm -hmm. environment, and education is also mind-boggling. Yeah. So I'm, I'm first there, like, what would even give him the right. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. And, and, and he's not even qualified to, right, say, right. to say to do this. Right. And then to add to that, I mean, come on, this was uh, President John F. K. Kennedy, who in 1961 sent down the executive order for yep. affirmative action. It was not, uh, it was actually a law to uh, protect, mm -hmm. right, to protect all individuals, especially especially the diversifying groups mm -hmm. who were eligible candidates mm -hmm. for uh, employment, mm -hmm. hiring, mm -hmm. education, yes. uh, and just to make, even even when we're looking at being terminated mm -hmm. yeah. from a position, we want to make sure that all laws are fair for everyone. Right. Right. For yeah. me, this is just a no-go. I cannot believe that this is even being brought up right. uh, to yeah. the Supreme Court. I just can't. So, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I'm no, I was just, I, I want to, us to, to, to really talk about the difference between discrimination and diversifying that's what we're talking about here, but I believe that there is an educational advantage of diverse learning environments. Absolutely. Um, and so we have to continue to protect that. And my daughter is uh, experiencing a very amazingly diverse uh, learning environment. Mm -hmm. um, she goes to an international school and her, you know, she has friends obviously that are African American. She has white friends. She has friends who are Arabic. She has friends who are from the UK. And I love the fact that she, because we were able to uh, allow her that opportunity right. and she was accepted as a black child mm -hmm. uh, who was academically advanced, she's given these opportunities to expand her mind culturally, right. ethnic, ethnically, everything. And now she's like, well, I want to go here. I want right. to do this. And I want to travel abroad when I graduate. And she was given this opportunity because she is in a diverse learning environment. Right. Not every child gets that mm -hmm. uh, um, opportunity, but we should be, they should be even allowed, allowed, allowed right. to, to have that right. type of opportunity to diversify themselves and be in a diverse environment. Mm -hmm. So it, it saddens me, mm -hmm. first of all. I know there's some people who believe that, you know, when we integrated the schools, mm -hmm. it, would, we, it took us back, a, you know, a period. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily have that belief. I think it's good to have diverse um, learning opportunities. Mm -hmm. I, I love that your daughters go to that school. I think that we learn so much from each other by being around those who are different. Yeah, um, right. I think the issue comes down to the fact that... Um, Y'all president has decided to unroll, you know, roll back everything that Barack Obama has done, that. and it's on purpose. And this is such a such a deliberate situation. It's going to affect every person that's walking or living in the United States. For example, this doesn't just affect just 
race. Mm -hmm. This is also gender. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he really understands and doesn't care. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate thing about this is he has no checks and balances. No one is saying, hey, dude, this is not right. We're going too far. So we're going too far. So I think the best thing that we can do as citizens is vote for people vote. who think and look like you, or not even look like you, but, but who but have the same, same thought yeah. process, same, but, but, thing, same thought process, mm -hmm. and, and have the same beliefs. beliefs. At the end yeah, of the day, everybody you, in the United States, yeah. I feel, want the same thing. Yeah. That is good schooling for their kids, yeah. a good education, a father foundation, a great job to be able to provide for their families, and and, that, a safe, and, and, a and a safe, and a safe country. place and to live. Let me just say this, Lily, because I, I, I researched this. Lily Garcia is the National Education Association president, and she mm -hmm. said she stated the National Education Education Association president said that affirmative action has proven to be one of the most effective ways to yes. create diversity and in inclusive classrooms. Right. But so yeah. she's already said it based on statistics. Yes. yes. And, and and not only that, I mean it's it it's like you said, we have to vote. And we have to get out and vote in November for the Senate. Because yes. the Senate is the one Absolutely. that uh, confirms the, the Supreme Court. Yes. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, with, with, the, with the one Supreme Justice step retiring, mm -hmm. we have to make sure that we vote the proper yeah. Senate in yeah. so that they can confirm, you know, make I'll a decision. I'll be voting right. 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 Stacey Abrams. Hello, yes. somebody. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Georgia. And, and also, be. really yes. quickly, I know we got to run, but this is the importance for me for HBCUs. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, while we have to work so much harder to get admittance into to a, other, a, schools. other schools. This is why Support HBCUs us. are Support so it. important because yes. it's a safe place. And I hate that you know we have to say, uh, well, if they won't let us in here, this no, no. HBCU should be you know pr you take the precedent or right. be the, the the choice that uh, you know be number one and two on right. people's um, Go list of colleges. Not Absolutely. tolerate. Absolutely. And so uh, this is the importance of all of that. But our children and all of us have to continue to work hard. And we have to also remember that. Diversification is not just black and white. Yes. It's not. It's just like Kiana mm -hmm. said, it's gender, it's sexuality, yes. it's moms with special needs children. Yes. It's yes. all yes. types of things. Mm -hmm. yes. So let's keep that. You know, and, and it's really hard for people who have never struggled. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on now. To even come to on now. even have a voice. Come on now. Or understand. understand but to have this? a negative agenda, first of all, right. his agenda is just not clean. Yeah. Right. It's not, and it's very clear. And it's well, it's gonna if this nation. if this actually happens, it's gonna make it very easy to discriminate yes. against people. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and there's not going to be any ramifications. And the whole, already, point is it, the whole point of being American is about having choice. That's right. Oh. And you have a choice to send us your thoughts on what we're talking about here. We could go on and on and on.